Welcome to Tectonic Nights channel. Here's day 3 of solving Pandas lead code problems. Today's topic is data manipulation. First question is nth highest salary. We are given an employee table with two columns, ID and salary. Our task is to find the nth highest salary. If the nth highest salary does not exist, we should return null. We first remove duplicate salary values. For instance, if two rows have the same salary, and we need the second highest, we should return null instead of the duplicate. Now we use n largest method in pandas to return the top n largest distinct salaries from the data frame. We check if n is a valid index. Specifically, n must be greater than 0 and less than or equal to number of distinct salaries. We access nth highest salary using iat method in pandas. Here we specify n minus 1 row and the salary column index, in our case it is 1. We can also get the index of the salary column in the data frame using get lock method. Finally, we return a new data frame with the accessed value. Next problem is second highest salary. The task is to return the second highest distinct salary from the employee table. To begin, as mentioned in the first problem, we remove duplicate salaries and then use the n largest method to retrieve the top salaries. Here we specify 2 as the value for n largest as we want to retrieve the second highest salary. Now data frame returned by n largest will always have exactly 2 rows. We use iat method in pandas to access the second row by specifying row index as 1 and the column index for salary column as 1. We will be able to access this value only if the length of the data frame is exactly 2, else we return none. Finally, we construct a new data frame containing the second highest salary and return that value. Next problem is department highest salary. We are given department and employee tables. Our task is to find employees who have the highest salary in each of the departments. First, we use the group by method in pandas to group the data by department ID. Then within each group, we use apply method to filter rows with the highest salary for each department. Next, we rename the columns to match the expected output format. Specifically, we rename the department ID, employee name and salary columns. We also change the name of the department ID to avoid any name conflicts. The reason for this is that department ID is used as a grouping key and having it as both a column name and a group name could cause ambiguity in later operations. Next, we perform a join operation between this data frame and the department table using the merge method in pandas joining on the id column. After the merge, we rename the department column as specified in the expected output and we return the data frame with the necessary columns. An alternative approach is to use transform method instead of apply method. The difference is that apply method operates on the entire data frame while the transform method works on individual series. In this case, we can use transform method to get the maximum salary for each department and then filter the employee data frame based on that series. Once we have the data frame with the highest salaries for each department, the remaining steps are the same. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and drop your thoughts or questions in the comments. See you next time.